Hi everyone, this is Susie from CreatedToCraft.com. Uh, my YouTube name is S. Kimball 2000 and I'm here to share some new uh, swivel class charms and stick pins that I made. I'm pretty much out of them in my Etsy store. I just have a few left so I needed to make a batch. Anyway, here's the first one. This is a... Uh, it's uh, done with different pink and white beads and uh, it's a girly girl charm, pink, and it, the charms on it, it's got the little purse. It's got a little fairy down here. It's got this little rose charm. And, oh, it's got a really pretty, um, it's just got some really beautiful Swarovski crystals on it and some other beads. There's This is a little heart bead right here that's really a pretty one. And I love these, uh, I'm not sure what they call these beads, I forget. They have a name for them, but they're made with seed beads. Anyway, this is the, the pink one. Real pretty. Then I have a garden charm that I made. This one has a, it's done in colors of green and amber. It's kind of to represent the green foliage and the dirt. And then I've got a bunch of different charms on here. I've got this little flower pot charm. I've got the little spade charm. There's a little wheelbarrow charm right there. And up on top here, there's a watering can charm. You can see that one. It's got uh, red beads, green beads. It's got a little flower bead here, a little leaf right there. And anyway, it's just really pretty. It's It would be a cute for a garden mini or something like that, summer mini. Anyway, that's that one. And then another one I did was in colors of lavender and white, which is such a pretty combination. Some real pretty beads here too, some more lucite beads and just some specialty beads, lampwork beads, um, crystals. This one hangs here with a little chain. I like to do different things on them like this one's dangling from a chain. Um, here's a little, actually I think I'm calling this one Faith. That's what I call this one because it has a cross charm on it. And then it has a little dove down here. Let's see if you can see that. Anyway, that's that one. Okay, here's one I did. It's just a little, little steampunky. Not, not a whole lot, but I've got uh, like a tricycle charm right here, a key, then one of the. Uh, the birds that you see in a lot of steampunk things. I've got uh, different colored beads on here, just a variety of colors, blues, pinks, greens, white pearls, and this little cluster of beads right down here is really cute. Anyway, that's the, the steampunky one. Be great for a steampunk mini album. And my last charm, this is uh, just a red and white charm. It's really cute. It's got uh, little heart beads on it, some more Swarovski crystals. I use either Swarovski or uh, Preciosa or um, the Czech glass crystals also. Um, some really pretty different beads. Here's a, I love this little red and white bead there. I use a lot of bead caps and different things on my charms. Then this has a key at the bottom and right above that is a little fish. It's so cute. See the little fish right there? Anyway, this is just another charm that you can add to any one of your books. Summer book would be cute. And that's that one. And then I have my stick pins that I've done, and I make the matchbook covers for them. This one. I really put a lot of time in the matchbook covers, too, because I just think that the presentation is so important. And this is uh, teals and greens. There's lace and some bling on there, butterflies and some real pretty seam binding. They close with Velcro. And here are the two beads inside. Really pretty. I love the beads. They're teals and uh, blue, like ocean blues. And uh, here, if you can see, that's the set right there. And they're three inch stick pins. Anyway, I just love them, and I love this bead right here. It's so pretty, the Lampert bead, see if you can see that. 
anyway, those are, that's that set. And here's another set. This is uh, probably pink inside, pink and gold. I usually do one silver stick pin and one gold stick pin with the corresponding accents and the gold findings or silver findings. And, uh, oh yeah, this is a pretty set too. Say I paper the inside of the matchbook covers too. Anyway, here's this one. See, this is the gold, and this is done in the silver. And I love these little, they look like little mini mirror ball beads. That one right there. There's a lamprick bead with the rose inside of it. Pinks. And here's a crackle glass bead. Let's see if you can see that one. Anyway, very pretty. I like to use a lot of bead caps. Anyway, that's that set. Here's a real pretty set. I love this one. It's probably my favorite. Anyway, this is gold and silver. I used gold and silver accents, bling. Uh, there's a distressed doily here. And I, oh, these are the skeleton leaves I put on here also. Anyway, this set is really pretty. Let's see, you can see that. There's the gold and there's the silver. And, uh, some of these beads are just beautiful. Anyway, these would be so great for cards, um, canvases, anything you would want to use a stick pick in, stick pin layouts. Um, you know, there's a lot of uses for them. And I do sell them, so people must use them. There's that one. Very elegant. Okay, then I have this one here probably pink and green because of the cover. There's some I Am Roses flowers and some of the smaller roses I carry in my one of my Etsy stores and trims. And uh, I use the Stampin' Up! Big Flat Back Pearls. Oh yeah, these are green and pink. Let's see if you can see those there. Look at those beads. Aren't they beautiful? This one is so pretty. And then this, here's another one of those lampwork beads. A teardrop bead with a cone uh, bead cap. Just really pretty. That's that set. Then I have the lavender and white set. Really, really good for spring or summer. And just some felt flowers I made and some lace, pearl trim, a little butterfly. Oh, this bead, see that dangling out there? This bead, these stick pins have a, one of them has a charm dangling from it that I made, just a little. See that? I love this. It's so cute. See how it dangles off the, the stick pin? That would be so pretty to put on a really nice card. It's done in lavenders. The silver one is done in uh, lavender and silver, uh, different shades. And then uh, the silver one, or oh, these are actually both silver. This one is done in uh, white pearls, a white glass uh, bead with a foil inside. And then, of course, the, the little charm is done in a crackle glass bead and a little Swarovski crystal at the bottom. Anyway, that's that set. Now I have my larger stick pins that I make. They're six-inch stick pins. This one's just kind of cute. It's uh, probably teal and orange on the inside. I think I know which one it is, of course. Just decorate the outside, the inside. Anyway, here's the six inch pin. Uh, actually, I'm going to take it out. You can see it better. Okay. There it is. It's a little teapot. It's got painted flower on it. This is a cool bead right here. It's kind of a different bead. Then a, uh, another crystal bead and a Aurora Borealis, Aurora Borealis crystal bead, and then the cone bead caps. So that's the six inch stick pin. Here's another one. I love the outside. I just, you know, took some flat flowers, folded them up, and made a fluffy flower. And this is the uh, spray, kind of like uh, crystal leaves. I don't know if it's crystal, I think it's acrylic. And then some pearl trim little doilies and butterflies. And this is another teapot. Here, let me take this one out. See, it's 
see there's a, another teapot with the painted flower on it. Green beads, there's another one of these lamprock beads with the rose on the inside. Pearl, moon dust bead. Anyway, it's a very pretty stick pen. It's six inches, so this would be great for a lot of different things. And here is, this is like a teal ocean blues, uh, G and blue, whatever, you know, you want to call it. Some trim that, actually I sell this in one of my Etsy shops too. I love this trim. And uh, some satin ribbon. I think this one closes with a magnet. Yes, it does. And I'll pull this one out. This is so pretty. The colors are beautiful. Look at this bead. Isn't that pretty? And then the the cone caps right here, pearl, a big uh, flat bead, the foil lined. I, I love those beads. Another pearl and some little gold beads down there. Anyway, that's another six inch stick pin. And I have this one. I love this the way this cover turned out. And there's some I am roses flowers here, some lace, leaves, and then a a big uh, daisy trim and some little butterflies there. And this pin, I'll pull this one out too. This is a real pretty green one. Just if you love green, this is pretty with the antique uh, brass uh, cone caps, uh, these heavier bead caps, another cone cap. These are, um, this is a teardrop crystal, and then this is just a round. Uh, bead inside with white mixed in. It's really pretty. Very pretty. See, that's that one. And my last one, done with uh, just a flower I made, put some petals together. And this trim I carry in my store, one of my Etsy stores, I just put some flat back pearls on it. And I think this one is, oh, that's a magnet too. Anyway, this is a little teapot. Let me pull this one out. Look at this is a teapot. It's actually you use a crystal bead, okay? Then you have these the top of the bead cap and the bottom forms the teapot. It's really a cute uh, design. And then the little um, rose lampwork bead again. I love that bead. Pearl, uh, glass bead, then this filigree silver bead, and then a little another little pink bead down here with a lot of bead caps. This is a six inch pin. It's really cute. I really like it. Anyway, I thank you all for watching. Um, it was fun. And um, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.